from the day Titanic was launched, it was on fire. Yet, none of the passengers knew about this fire. While Titanic continued to fight with this fire, an iceberg hit the ship. She struck the iceberg three times, you know. She hit it first, then the second time, and the third time she stopped. April 10, 1912, every newspaper in the world headlined the launch of the Queen of the Ocean, Titanic, a ship that was fondly called the Floating Palace, the Unsinkable and the Ship of Dreams. Built in Belfast of Ireland by 15,000 men over a period of six months, Titanic was the pride and heart of White Star Line, a British shipping company whose owner called it the ship that God himself couldn't sink. It is no mystery what happened to the ship, or so we all believed for more than 105 years. Reality was hidden away and many human errors were buried deep in the Atlantic Ocean as the official inquiry stated that the high-speed collision with an iceberg was the only reason behind this tragedy. However, recent discoveries baffled the analysts and journalists who unearthed many secrets that were barely recorded during the investigation. Was it ice that took down Titanic? Or was it fire? Or was it a combination of unfortunate coincidences or blatant human errors? Let's begin with timeline. April 10, 1912 Honoring the largest man-made object ever to have taken to seas, other ships were cancelled and over a hundred thousand people were present to witness the launch of RMS Titanic. New docks were built just to launch this brand new ship which was set for its first ever voyage from Southampton, England to New York City, USA. Best-in-class cutlery, china, wines, expensive artwork, decor made the ship the most luxurious ship man has ever built. By noon of the same day, with a total of 2,222 passengers and crew, Titanic undocked and began its journey onto the transatlantic waters. April 14, 1912 At 11.40 pm, just four days after the ship set sail on its maiden journey, a tragedy took down the Titanic and 1,500 lives along with it. While the ship boasted of onboarding the latest technology and grandeur, one iceberg was all it took to sink the unsinkable, or so we thought. At 11.50 pm, the captain is informed that the ship can stay afloat for only two hours because of the extensive damage to its lower decks which were flooding at an alarming rate. By April 15, 1912, midnight 12 am, first distress signal was transmitted from the ship. At 12.45 am, the first ever lifeboat was lowered and subsequently the others were launched. At 2.17 am, final distress signal was sent from RMS Titanic by the captain of the ship. By 2.20 am, Titanic was no longer on the sea waters but beneath the Atlantic Ocean. Two-thirds of the passengers and crew froze to death and Titanic never really finished its first journey. Year 1985 After 73 years since the sinking and several unsuccessful attempts over the years, Finally, RMS Titanic shipwreck was found resting 12,500 feet deep on the Atlantic Ocean bed. In the year 2017, photographs of the ship's voyage were made public, which immediately caught the attention of Titanic's analysts. More on this later. Year 2019, an expedition by Atlantic showed the severe deterioration of the wreck site, giving an estimate of the wreck totally vanishing 
in the next 10 to 11 years due to the metal eating bacteria's growth. Now let's look at the mistakes that led to the sinking of the ship in order of their timeline and occurrence. Mistake number one, coal. That was the time when there was a mining strike being held across the UK. As a result, the availability of coal became challenging. Thanks to its reputation, Titanic managed to get just enough coal, including the coal borrowed from the other ships that were cancelled. You will understand why just enough coal proved to be a problem subsequently at mistake number 3. Number 2. Steel As a part of investigation of History Channel's documentary, it came to light that the White Star Line company chose to use ordinary steel to build Titanic while the ship of that size really needed some special steel requirements. Titanic had two sister ships, Olympic and Britannic. While Britannic also sank, Olympic collided the Royal Navy's HMS Hawk and the way its hull was damaged in 1935 clearly proved the quality of steel used to build these ships. History made it very clear that a ship as huge as Titanic could not have been taken down just by an iceberg. While an ordinary steel played one part, the next mistake played the crucial role. Mistake number three, fire. When the photographs of Titanic were made public in 2017, what caught the investigator's eyes was the black diagonal stain on the ship's right hull. When dug deeper, it was found that one of the coal bunkers where tons of coal is stored was actually on fire since a few weeks by then and hence that mark. Coal was loaded at least three weeks before the launch, meaning Titanic was already on fire even before it left the docks. In all fairness, it is however difficult to learn about the burning coal until the fire becomes significant. Coal often rubs off and generates fire which could be burning for weeks. Several firemen survivors confirmed this in their initial interviews with American newspapers, but little attention was ever paid. Since the ship carried just enough coal, 11 fire workers were assigned the task of emptying the burning coal from the bunker into the furnace. Furnace is what fuels the engines of the ship and since large amounts of coal was being dumped, the engines were running at full throttle, having no other option. Red hot coal bunker caused the adjacent bunker's coal burn up as well. After three days of continuously shoveling coal from the bunkers, fire workers noted that the steel walls of the ship have become red hot with extreme temperatures in the burners and the bulkhead which actually plays a crucial role in keeping the ship afloat in case of an accident was severely warped and damaged. So, this fire by then has already endangered the ship's steel structure. And this is precisely when the iceberg hit the ship, exactly near the bulkhead and the coal bunker which was already damaged. Under normal circumstances, the ship would have stayed afloat for at least three to four days after the iceberg collision, giving plenty of time for rescue operation. But there was nothing normal about this tragedy. Mistake number four, the high speed of Titanic. Be it the unnatural amounts of coal being shoved into its furnace or the pressure on captain from White Star Line Company to create headlines by making Titanic not just the largest but also the fastest ship in the world, Titanic in the end was travelling beyond its regulated capacity, clocking 23 knots speed while the recommended was only 19 to 21 knots. When the icebergs were noticed by the lookout team, this speed made it impossible for the engines to either halt or steer away from the iceberg on time. Mistake number five, iceberg warnings. We had warnings that there was ice, and there was ice all over the place. We had it from ships and shore, and we went straight ahead as if there was nothing there in our way. A total of six warnings were issued to the Titanic by other ships on the ocean, alerting them of huge field of icebergs in their path. But Titanic could not slow down. Mistake number six, binoculars. This one may particularly stun you. Titanic had everything, from pet walkers to personal help, 
from luxury spa options to world's finest and costliest wines. But what it did not have was a pair of binoculars. The second officer, in whose desk there was a pair of binoculars, was transferred in the last minute and he missed handing over his desk keys. The lookout staff person, named Fleet, who first spotted the iceberg and rang the warning bell shouting, Iceberg ahead, was one of the survivors of Titanic. During the official investigation, when he was asked what difference having binoculars would have made, he stated very clearly that they would have spotted the berg earlier and the collision would not have happened at all. Since it was almost midnight and there was a lot of fog and mist, icebergs were not easily spotable for the naked human eye. Mr. Fleet, however, could not live out his rest of the life normally. He slipped into depression post-Titanic and committed suicide unable to carry this burden of grief. Mistake number 7. A ship that did not respond. When the first distress signal was sent from Titanic at 12 am and SOS rockets were fired, a ship called Californian was pretty close to Titanic and could have reached on time saving all the endangered lives. However, for reasons unknown, the captain of Californian chose not to act and this inaction got him suspended eventually. Though the inquiry believed that Californian could have prevented such a severe life loss, he was later reinstated into his job. Mistake number 8. Evacuation time. The top-ranked crew took over 20 minutes to finally realize that the ship was going to sink. It was then that they had their crew rushing to the first, second and third class decks requesting everyone to put on their life jackets. The on, on the boat never realized that the boat would sink and not many people took the opportunity of going into the lifeboats. Most of them remained in dark about what was going to happen to the ship. The first lifeboat was lowered only after one hour five minutes of the iceberg collision. Mistake number nine, lifeboats management. While the capacity of Titanic was over 3,300 on board, the lifeboats that it carried were only 20 instead of 60. While each boat could carry about 60 to 65 people, that meant that only 1200 to 1300 people actually ever had a chance to survive in case of an event like this. The shocking fact about why the ship was not equipped with enough number of boats was optics. Because too many boats made the ship look cluttered and it did not appease the eyes. This cosmetic change could have also been made owing to the ship's tagline of being the unsinkable. Usually, before a voyage, a drill is conducted with the crew on lifeboats management. But Titanic's crew never had that drill, so when they actually needed to man these lifeboats, their inexperience proved to be very costly as the initial boats left the ship with just 12 people in each while they could have carried several more. The question of one of the lifeboats, it was uh, boat one, <laughs> why it was lowered with only 12 or 14 people on that night when there weren't enough lifeboats if you would fill them all to capacity. I've never really understood why that lifeboat was lowered uh, almost, figuratively speaking, empty. While two boats sank along with Titanic, 18 lifeboats were finally deployed. So the boats that could easily have saved at least 1300 ended up only saving half of that number. The number of survivors of Titanic was 712. Though the crew insisted that the lifeboats be filled with women and children first, many half-filled boats carried the first-class wealthy men. Towards the end, due to this mismanagement, chaos erupted and boats were being swamped to escape the sinking ship. Shots were fired by Titanic officers to ensure that only women and children got onto the last boats at least. It is reported that at least 27 people were shot and killed. The last lifeboat left Titanic at 2.5 am. The ship Carpathia, which was four hours away, responded to Titanic's distress call and picked up the first lifeboat at 4.10 am and the last lifeboat at 8.50 am of 15th April 1912, long after Titanic was sunk. Mistake number 10. Social, political and financial pressure. 
the enormous propellers of Titanic had to be shipped off to help its sister ship Olympic, thereby postponing Titanic's launch. So, any further delays in the launch could have made White Star Line Company bankrupt. Titanic's first voyage tickets were also booked by many of the world's richest families who would not have accepted anything other than what was promised, even the launch date. World was eagerly waiting for its first glance at this mammoth ship. Every single factor built pressure on the owners, the partners, as well as the captain of Titanic. However, the headline that they wanted Titanic to make eventually was not the one it made in the end. All these mistakes played their part, but Titanic could have remained unsinkable, probably ruling the ocean like a queen, had any of these nine things been different. 1. If only Californian responded, no lives would have been lost. 2. Had all the 60 lifeboats been fully stocked, life loss would have been zero. 3. If the lifeboats were properly managed, it could have saved at least a few hundred more lives. 4. Had the second officer handed over the desk keys with the binoculars, iceberg would have never hit Titanic. 5. Had the iceberg warnings been taken seriously, the lookout would have been more vigilant. 6. Had the ship travelled on recommended speed, it could have managed deviating from the iceberg, though it was spotted late. 7. Had the coal not been burning, the steel wouldn't have been so weak that an iceberg ripped off into the ship easily. 8. Had the steel been of better quality, the fire wouldn't have weakened and battered the steel so badly. 9. Had the owners postponed the launch after a complete and thorough safety check along with the drill, things would have been very, very different. No one would have had to die if not for these human errors, ego included. So, why did it take so long for some of these facts to come out? As the fire workers kept working on transferring the burning coal into the furnaces, their officers ordered them to keep their mouths shut and not to say a word about this fire to anyone on ship. Many who survived later disclosed these stunning facts to the US journalists. Lord Mercy, who commissioned the official inquiry into Titanic's investigation, had little to no interest in the fire theory as he brushed it off and did not give scope for any questioning on that front. Thomas Lewis, leader of the firemen, was allowed to be questioned only after 11 days into the inquiry, who confirmed knowing about the coal fire before the launch and that it was tackled only after the ship set to sail. The photographs that were released in 2017 rekindled the modern age journalism that dug out these theories deciphering the subtle mentions, the pictures and the latest technology to understand how the steel could have behaved. None of these investigations, however, can ease the pain of the 1500 plus travellers who felt a thousand knives stabbing them as they dived into the cold Atlantic waters or for how long they desperately waited in the freezing water, looking and hoping for the lifeboats to return. The fact remains that very few of them drowned, while majority of them died of hypothermia, left frozen in the middle of the ocean on a cold midnight. From two months old baby to a 75 year old man, from young dreamers to passionate families who boarded the ship to realize their dreams in the United States of America, never got that chance. And whoever did reach the city of New York only looked at the Statue of Liberty knowing their rest of their lives were scarred and nothing would ever be the same. And it did not. Because it was impossible to forget the cry for help of those whom they left behind cries that never seemed to end and when they finally ended, it only meant the worst had happened. For the outside world, Titanic was a human marvel. But Titanic in the end was a grand gamble that never paid off. If this is your first time on Indianistic, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you did find something new in this video, please do share it with your friends who may also want to know the real facts behind this human tragedy.
Stay on and watch more videos on Indianistic as I'm sure you'll find something interesting right here, right now. I would like to hear what you have to say. So which mistake shocked you the most? Let me know in the comment section below.